dear students welcome to the video lecture of object oriented relational database management system part 2 in this video we are going to discuss about the table and inverted classes mapping Now, previous we we discussed a table and inverted class mapping. Here we are going to discuss tables, inverted class and inverted class mapping. And another approach here is table, say inverted class mapping, which allows the translation of easier relationship that exists among tables in the relational schema into a class inheritance relationship in the object model. In relational database management system, the ESA relationship is often modeled uh, by primary key that acts as a foreign key to another table. Modeled by a primary key that acts as a foreign key to another table. In the object model, ESA is another term of an inheritance relationship. ESA is another term of an inheritance relationship. By using the inheritance relationship in the object model, the mapping can be expressed a richer and a cleaner definition of a relationship than Uh, is possible in the relational schema. Uh, so we take a, we are having a three tables. One is person table which contain name, address, and social security number. Employee table which contain name, department, social security number, and salary. And customer table which contain the name, address, and the company. So these are the tables. Here the person table directly map to the person class which contain the social security number, name, and address. Employee table. Which contain uh, the department salary. So, employee the table instance will be created when, uh, when uh, only for the, uh, yeah, the employee the columns uh, columns are filled in the employee table, and customer table which is having a value company. So, employee table can access uh, the name from the inherit the name from the uh, person table, and as well as uh, uh, and as well as name and as well as Uh, social security number the both are from the person table so here if you take a customer which contain the name address and the company so customer is having company name address are inherited from the person table so instance of a person are mapped directly from the uh, person table we see here so directly the person table is directly mapped to the person class so instance of persons instance of person object are mapped directly to the person table Employee can can be created. The instance of employee will be created for the rows in the employee table. So for the rows in the employee table only, instance of the employee can be created. The social security number is used as used as both primary key in the person table. The social security number is used as both the primary key in the person table. And for activating the instance of the person, for activating the instance of the person, and the foreign key on the the foreign key on the person table, and the primary key for the Employee employee table and primary key for the employee table uh, for activating the instance of the type employee. So primary key in the employee table, foreign key in the person table to activate the instance of the employee. Key for navigation. The simplest approach is to translate the columns value into corresponding class property value. Directly translate the column value into corresponding class property value. There are two uh, two uh, there are two interpretation of the mapping. Either the column is a data value. Or it defines a navigation relationship between the two classes. A column can directly have a data value. Or it creates a navigation relationship between the two instances, for such as foreign key. The mapping should also specify how to convert the data value into a property on an instance. In addition to simple data conversion, the mapping of the column defines uh, defines the interpretation of the relation, relational foreign keys. The mapping describe describe how a foreign key can be navigate among the classes. Come on, instances in a mapped object model, and the reference and the reference integrity is is maintained. In addition to simplest data conversion, mapping of a column value defines the interpretation of relational foreign keys. The mapping describes both how foreign can be is used to navigate among the classes and instance in the mapped object model, and how the reference integrity is maintained. The foreign key defines the relationship between the table in the relational database. The foreign key. The foreign key defines the relationship between the tables in the relation database. In the object model, this association is where the object can have a reference to the another object. Object can have a reference to another. That is known as association. That enables the instance uh, instance to in, uh, instance navigation. So see here we are having a table. Uh, 
department table which contain name and department and employee table name department social security number and salary the employee class contain the name uh, social security number and salary department contain the name and department id so here the department id property of employee the department id property of employee uses the foreign key in the column employee dot department id employee dot department id is a foreign key so each employee instance has a direct reference to the class department so each employee instance have a direct reference to the class uh, department uh, that is one association to the department object which, which it belongs so that's it this is known as a table and multiple class mapping this is achieved through the primary foreign key relationship in the audit oriented time this is known as a association this is known as a association uh, that references or association okay thanks for watching the video lecture thank you